What are your thoughts or what do you know will be the impact if Filipinos continue to consume isang isang tabo ng kanin or uh, what would be the result if they actually follow the uh, suggestion of Phil Rice na half cup only? All right, so I'll answer the first question. So yun po isang tabo or too much consumption can eventually lead to diabetes and more than that, obesity. So kasi po, the concern with the too much consumption is that it is carried on to the family and even um, for a very long time, kahit lifetime, nagiging habit siya. So it becomes a habit. Then eventually leading to obesity for always depending on rice. And then for the second question, I'm honestly for it because it helps um, the person control firsthand yung portion when it comes to consumption. It helps them um, limit their food consumption so that in the long run, it could also help them prevent diabetes and even prevent obesity. So it's all okay. about portion control. Price alternatives are also beneficial because some studies shows that they're, that they're also high in fiber as well, like sweet potatoes, potatoes, corn, and so they could be a good alternative option. Some even opt for bread, and but of course, I'd go for corn instead.